My name is Michael Potts, and I live on a Scepter 36-foot sailboat. This is where I am today. I'm in Lake Sylvia, Fort Lauderdale. In the last video, I returned from the Bahamas and was boarded by the CBP and searched with dogs. Ended up being detained for three weeks for a missing document here in Lake Sylvia. Now, we're going to put my story on hold for this episode, and we're going to see how the other half lives. <laughs> We're going to do a tour of a Hampton 63. This beautiful motor yacht is something to behold. We're going to meet its captain. We're going to go in the engine room. We're going to go do a tour of the entire boat and get a glimpse of what it's really like to own one of these yachts. If you're into boats like I am, you're not going to want to miss this video. take a good look at what this yacht is really like inside and we put her on the slings take her into the travel lift and haul her out let's get into the video my name is michael potts i live on a scepter 36 foot sailboat in this video we are going to remove a 55,000 pound yacht into a travel lift i'm here with my friend steve Say hey, hi to YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, check out Thomas's vessel. Okay, 60 foot Hampton. Look at these yachts, folks. So today, we are gonna put this big ol' 60 foot boat onto the slings, onto the travel lift, out of the water. And we're gonna inspect the hull and take a look. What an amazing vessel. This is a 60 foot Hampton. It's actually 80,000 pounds. And uh, it's gonna take quite a bit of effort to get this thing out of the water. I mean, my vessel is nine registered tons. I'm assuming this thing is just like, the travel lift for this thing must be huge. So stick around, it's gonna be very interesting. All right, guys, so this is Thomas's boat. There's the captain right there. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, what are we doing today, Thomas? So we're gonna... We're gonna move the boat from here all the way up right over there. All right. And, and we're actually gonna pull it out of the water? Yeah. Jesus. All right, so... Put in a travel lift and uh, 55,000 tons is gonna come out. Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. This is gonna be very interesting. I have never seen a vessel of this size in the sling before. To think that's even possible. So guys, wow, this is gonna be something else. So Thomas has been kind enough to let us have a look inside his vessel. Look at this place, guys. Look at that beautiful cabinetry. We're gonna have a quick look up here at the station. Look at this place. Oh, it's like a regular kitchen. Wow. Look at this helm station. Wow. So this vessel is a pilot house. So there's also a, uh, a control station a helm up upstairs. This vessel is equipped with bow thrusters and it has a stabilization system. Unbelievable. All right, so this is the, uh, we're now above in the, uh, the helm station that's on the top of the vessel. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> wow. So there's three screens downstairs and two here. Covers come off. Look at this beautiful helm station. Now, believe it or not, this vessel is equipped with uh, a stabilization. So, look at this, uh, bow thrusters, gyro stabilizer, okay. All of them, the bells and whistles that you would need for a yacht of this magnitude. 
Look at this area. It's got a full crane. Uh, what's the marine term for that again? Yeah, so, so it's hydraulic davit here. So he, uh, Thomas can bring his uh, dinghy up here, right? Stow it on deck up here. What a beautiful yacht. The sunbathing area. Got a fridge, little, little area to wash your hands. Unbelievable, guys. This vessel's name is Moonlighter 2. And uh, it's amazing how high up we are. Look at these yachts, eh? Very, very cool. So it's gonna be interesting to see this thing come out of the water, guys, so stick around. All right, so we are gonna go down and into the engine room. And I, I believe they're uh, eight or 12 cylinder, two twin, is it 12? Did we determine it was six or 12? 12 cylinder. Yes. Yeah, so, C15. C15. So Caterpillar C15. 12 cylinder times two and we 850 so in total that would be a 1700 horsepower guys think of that 1700 horsepower diesel <laughs> anyway let's go into the engine room this is going to be amazing guys look at this hydraulic attachment and uh look at that <laughs> all right coming down Look at this, there's the autopilot and steering mechanism there. The and uh, air conditioning systems. Two separate air conditioning systems. Wow, some storage area, look at tools and a workbench right there. Look at this engine room, guys. Look at this place. Wow, isn't that amazing? Two generators on each side. So you got two, two generators, right? One's oh, slightly bigger than the other, I believe. Yeah, 13 kilowatts and 23 kilowatts. Wow, so you got all the power you would ever need. All right, if you really want to run your systems, your air conditioning, uh, all of the- all of dryer, cooktop, all, all that. Yes, cooktop. Look at these. So these are C15 Caterpillars, 12 cylinders. Look at these beautiful engines. Oh my God. Can, can we, are you going to start them, Thomas? Yeah. This is going to be wicked, guys. <laughs> We're gonna hear the sound of these engines. Wow. Let's do this one first. So we're powering up the controls right now. Steve's out, our, our dock line guy. And, Is that uh, camera pointed to where it should be? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Records 360, right? Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna move here. Sideways, then back out. All right, so we are going on a very short trip. And uh, we take control right now. <laughs> we're coming away from the dock. Very interesting. All right, so Thomas is doing a great job of uh, guiding us into the goalposts here. Now, you, you, you seem very calm. I've done this a few times before. Yeah, so. It's just, we are so close to these vessels. Look at this. I've seen this vessel before, by the way, in Miami. Yeah. Uh, I think this one's up for sale, actually. Okay. This red one. Uh, so, Thomas is doing a great job of uh, slowly maneuvering the vessel into the travel lift area.
Me, personally? <laughs> no, that's right. you can Steve's you asking what we would tip the dock guys, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I believe $20 per person usually uh, is what we do. Yeah, these guys work really hard, uh, dock workers. Yeah, so. And essentially, uh, these, these dock workers have uh, Thomas's entire vessel in their hands right now. And it's always nervous to see a vessel on the sling, you know, to go into the sling. Oh, you're always just wondering. Uh, it's just such a precarious thing. Yes, of course, yep. All right, Thomas, are you nervous about your boat? Look at that. No. He trusts in, the, in these guys. Yeah, I've been there before. They know what they're doing. His entire vessel My is entire hanging by home. straps. I mean, let's <laughs> yeah. go take a close look here. Let's let's go look at this thing. All right. So what they're doing right now is they're slowly raising the straps and uh, easing on. So let's see how they're raising it up now. So the entire weight of the boat will soon be, uh, the load of the vessel will be on those straps momentarily and they're gonna move it uh, away here. Thomas, how you feeling? Your boat's on a sling. A little nervous, but they know what they're doing. You getting a box drop cap? Yeah. Incredible. Look at the size of these props, guys. Look at this. Unbelievable. Four bladed times two. You got your stern thruster right here. So Thomas, how uh, how long has the boat been in the water? Just so we can gauge uh, the, the growth. Uh, about a month now, after the diver last time. So Thomas says a month. Uh, this is roughly a month of growth here in Florida. So those are the stabilizers right there. Incredible. Unbelievable. And just like that, she's in her spot. So she's gonna get repairs done and uh, Thomas is preparing for his journey uh, north of here in the next couple weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's all say uh, thank you to Thomas for letting us on his vessel, showing us his beautiful vessel. Thanks to Steve thank for helping out as well. And uh, that's it guys. That's it for this video. Leave a comment down below. Captain Michael, signing out.
Stay 